Hello, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I'm so glad to be able to say that and knowing that it is true. You know, oftentimes I say that there are people who are always complaining about this, complaining about that, but never have a solution for anything. I stand corrected. I was listening today into a program, and uh, the speaker was uh, ex-governor of Minnesota, Jesse Ventura, the wrestler, and he was advocating that the problems are so demanding that a solution, a simple solution as he see it, would be to stop uh, ex ex exercising the Republican and Democratic parties. That you have uh, regular citizens who, who have the, reput the reputation, who have been out there doing this and representing that, and if they want to run for office, put themselves out there and allow the people to vote for the ones that they are familiar with and one that represents what they are about. Now, that sounds like it might be good when you hear that, you know, not good going for politicians, just going for people that have already proven themselves to your interest. The problem with that is that there might be, for instance, a big group of people, say several thousand people, and in that several thousand people might be 10 or 15 different groups that find themselves uh, set out, set aside, utilizing those thousands of people to represent their particular interests. So now you got that interest split up over 15 different ways, and how you how is that going to be better? I mean, it's a good thought. I think the Republican and Democratic Party already thought about that. At least you can set up a basic principles that represent the Republican Party, uh, basic principles that represent the Democratic Party, then people already know to a degree what you must represent, to a degree. And based upon what has been established, what has been projected, then based upon your service and your contribution, then the people can, you know, make a choice based upon where, where their interest is. So I think this is what they were talking about. But as I think about it, I think about another situation. It just come to me not too long ago when Mayor Eric Adams, uh, he was talking about the homeless people in the streets and the people who need help. Uh, what he was talk, advocating is letting the cops who don't have any uh, psychological training in reference to who's in, insane or or just any kind of training like this, but give them the authority to move people around. I'm talking about stuff I'm not uh, that abreast on, ladies and gentlemen, but you can look it up if you, if you want it, if you want to. And he's just giving people the power to abuse people who need help. And that reminds me, why is it that people are constantly voting for folks who got no plan, who got no proposal? When Eric Adams started talking about running for mayor of New York, or ex-policeman, I saw him just like I saw Donald Trump. A thick-headed person with no darn ambition whatsoever but to try to be bad, try to be tough, some cowboy, what they call him, gunslinger in town. That's all. Running his big mouth with no plans, trying to scare people. Look at him. He, look at him. There's no difference between Donald Trump and him. Now, why am I saying this? I'm not trying to say he's a mean man. I'm just saying the things that he's talking about are mean. These are the things that he's talking about a man who has no sensitivity to anything but trying to be buff, tough. Now, I wouldn't say that, except on the other hand, there is a way that works. And in month, if it's going to work, it got to work for everybody. What do I mean? I mean, it got to work for those here. They got to here, here, here. Over here, over here, black, white, red, brown, any color that you are, if it's involved in living on this planet, if it works for some, it must be available to others. Now, everybody don't need the same things, but they might need some of the same things. And so it must be enough of the same things around so people can choose from the same thing that requires that is required to meet their particular needs. And the only one way you can do that is thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That means that all the resources necessary to do all the things we might want to do has already been given to us by a power that we cannot see, cannot touch, cannot feel, but that same power is responsible for us and our needs and our wants and our desires. And the resources are here. Not only that, our desires, our needs, our wants, resources, who? Ours. How do we do to do it? Engage ourselves in the process of causing a manifestation of that and do it in such an abundance that it can reach across the board and reach to everybody. You do that, you can have your peace and prosperity and freedom and joy. You can have your happiness and, and your dreams being lived. You can have your homes, your foods, your clothing, your shelter, education, health care, and all of this without lying, cheating, stealing, racism, bigotry. Yeah, but that you know people don't want that. You want a little bit with your selfishness to get over on somebody. You want to think that you are somebody else and so, you are somebody and others aren't anything. That's selfishness. And with that attitude, how can a man come up with a plan? 
You can't do it. Only the power that set it up in the beginning can do it. I don't know what, um, what this guy named Leon Musk. I don't know what he, when he's talking about some car, the things that engage in that. Why? Because that's not my expertise. Or, or, or whatever he goes through to do some of the things that he does. I don't know. But he does. But that doesn't give him the authority to call himself bigger and better than anybody else. To have more money than anybody else. To people to lift him up and say, well, in a society where that is con considered progress, considered being somebody, a society that's that far off from God, yeah, well, then that's what happens. But you, the people, it's going to continue to happen unless you change, unless you decide that you rather follow God. And what, how does God work? God works within you to be the best that you can be. And if you think that you're the best that you can be and you find somebody better, then you get better. Don't talk about, don't start trying to bring people to down to your level. No, you rise up to their level. And I don't care who you are, me. I'm waiting for somebody who can show a little bit more love, who can articulate a little bit more love about the human race than I can so I can change my view because my view ain't working for nothing. You people walking around here, I don't care. You go to hell, you do anything, but you don't want to straighten up. And if you do want to straighten up, don't nobody know it. Nobody. I have never heard a person tell me what I just got through telling you. Thy will being done on earth as in heaven, translated the way I just, and it don't cause anyone any pain, any suffering, anything. Even the Bible going back to when the first time you start talking about it can't be that. And where do I get it from? That same power. But I'm not telling you what's in a book. I'm telling you what the Spirit is telling me today to tell you. And you're going to listen who to who? The one that the Spirit is talking to today to tell you this? Or are you going to listen to what some book is saying? And you got all these people on TV talk, fussing about whoever has prescribed to this basic philosophy or uh, this basic doctrine. Somebody just cutting them down, cutting them down, cutting them down. They're not lifting anything up. They're not telling you what to do. They're just talking trash. And we're tired of talking trash, tired of hearing trash. We want to live, my friends, the godly way. When I mean godly way, the way that works as I just got through describing it. Huh? Think about it. Until next time, Eddie Marcus saying goodbye for now.